on those kind of shows where it's like, you know, you don't know who could be coming out next or it has that Monday Night Wars kind of feel to it, like who's going to show up, don't right. look at your format. Rewind, recap, relive. For over 50 episodes, the revolutionary force in wrestling interviews. One specific moment that I remember that I, I loved so much because I, I felt you always conveyed the excitement but also explained everything really well was during the uh, the Royal Rumble when I think it was Booker T came out. You you, you had a few mm-hmm. moments where you really got excited, but during that one, yeah, do, uh, do you have any – you remember that? Was that just raw excitement? Was that was that organic or was that more produced? or? Mm-hmm. So there's there's two so that most people will remember. One is like where like I almost curse like holy sh, and the other one yeah. is like I'm I'm marking out I'm marking out. Okay, so the holy sh one was 100 percent organic and learned from Jerry Lawler earlier on those kind of shows where it's like you know you don't know who could be coming out next or it has that Monday Night Wars kind of feel to it like who's going to show up. Don't right. look at your format. People don't like to call it a script, but all right, don't look at your script. Don't look at your format. Don't look at it, and you will be genuinely surprised. And if you're confident enough in your skills, you'll be able to convey that in an organic way. If you look down the list and you see number 20 on his book of T, you go, oh, shit, you're going to have something prepared for it. It's just going to not feel special. And to his point, the only thing that could have punctuated that return, his moment, was someone almost saying, holy shit. Right. That's amazing. That is really amazing to hear that you guys don't actually know. Well, I guess you do know, but that, that style right there. You, yeah, by choice. You have yeah. to choose what kind of commentator. Now, I've worked with people that, man, they have papers coming out. That, and I was cruel, and I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll, my heart will be convicted here, but I was working with someone who was very, very anal about notes and knowing everything. And did it. I took his papers, and I kind of hid them on him. We were friends, and, and afterwards, when he found them, he said, he said, he, he quoted scripture, actually. He said, it's not for me to judge, and he, like, shook his papers at me, and we never really had a friendship after that, and I always felt badly about that. Um, so, yeah, man, everybody has their own, their own procedure and process for their own greatness. Right. Absolutely. Sticks, I'd love to get your thoughts on that. Well, I'm very much like you, Matt. I, I'm, I, I take notes, but it's very much an outline where, you know, what matches are we calling? Who's in where? You know, what are some of their moves that they, they really want to get over? But other than that, I don't want to know anything. I don't want to know the finish. I don't want to, you know what I mean? I want to be organic. Because in, in where I come from in radio, it's it's all. There's no safety net. Okay, this is what we want to talk about, but it can go anywhere. There are 57 different turns you can take while you're still talking about one topic. And that's how I feel about commentary. My partner, the young professor, on the other hand, is very much a note taker. He's very thorough. He's very, you know, this is, everything's written down. I'm, I'm very much the opposite. So I'm, we're very yin and yang to that, which, which I really like. We have a very nice dynamic. And he probably has a greater responsibility. And, you know, he understands that if he's working with a unique talent such as yourself, that, that he would have to, you know, pick up some more of the things that may get lost in the cracks. But it's nice to have a partner like that. Oh, absolutely. And it, it's not that I can't host, but he's he's definitely more straight-laced than I am. He's the, he's the PG to my PG-13. So, we you know, we complement each other well. If I have to host, if I have to lead, I can do that. But... You know, it's it's just we we have different different uh, styles that really complement each other. Yeah, it's great to be confident in your skills. Rewind, recap, relive for over fifty episodes. The revolutionary force in wrestling interviews.